welcome to the career fair here at Cleveland State Community College. Scott Webb, Denny Collins, uh, a special edition of the Freshman Friday podcast tonight. No, don't back away. No, absolutely no, not. no we not, don't sneak out of here. That's not how we roll. That's not how we roll absolutely. here. Absolutely. Special live broadcast at Cleveland State Community College, the college and career fair. Uh, Awesome venue, uh, great place with great idea, Coach Webb. Yeah, just I, not that I'm taking credit for it. Just go ahead and walk but uh, Brittany Cannon uh, has been a big part of this. Brittany, what's what's going on here today? We have. Oh, we don't okay, take the mic. We don't take whoa, the mic. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Miss Paul, Miss Miss Pig, you didn't go over the rules with her before. Yeah. Uh, come on, that's like sorry, rule number sorry. one. Um, this is our annual career fair for ninth graders that's hosted in collaboration with the Cleveland Chamber. It's mainly to expose our freshman students to careers um, and colleges, and hopefully they can decide a path into which they want to pursue. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. We got a lot of kids here. Walker Valley kids are currently here. The Bradley Central ninth graders will be here a little bit later today. You know, talk about some of the organizations and companies that are here. Okay, sure. We've got, sorry. <laughs> we've got, She's a natural. Um, yeah. She's we've a natural. got Mars. Um, chocolate, which is always a big hit with their M&Ms. They've got actually the Rice Krispie M&Ms here. We've got Cormatech, another advanced manufacturing facility. We've got our wildlife management. Um, we've got criminal justice areas, um, Cleveland Police. We've got um, Lee Business. We've got Cleveland Utilities. So as you can see, we've got exciting. The Spiel. Um, Do you want to? The Spiel. I mean, come yes. on. Let's go. Broadcast we, let's media. Drop absolutely. that one in there. <laughs> Well, and it's a great opportunity for kids to begin to at least begin the process of, of figuring out what they want to, what they want to do, and that's all part of why they're here today. Absolutely, it's just about exposing our students to life after high school, and hopefully, we are we're building a strong foundation now, so they can get that foundation and be successful in college and career. Well, thanks for coming, and we appreciate you stopping by today. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, she wanted to grab the she mic. Loves it. She, she loves loved it. She loved the microphone. She loves it. All right, hey, hey. don't worry about the no, camera. We're just live we're just on TV, buddy. Right? Here, just Starnes. walk right in front of it. Jakey Star and sports fan. Oh, uh, it'll be. So, Mr. Collins, big day here today. Kids get an opportunity to see a lot of different things, cool yeah, things I mean, pretty, going on. Pretty phenomenal. We got a great turnout. Uh, uh, close to 400 Walker Valley freshmen. Uh, a lot of other students from around the, the county, and, and so we're. Uh, this is awesome. This is really a great venue, and it's it's neat. Glad to have Miss Cannon on and, and talk about how this ties in with something that the students will uh, go through in the next few months. We have Mr. Frazier on last week uh, talking about the MBA Academy. We'll have uh, Miss Keir on with Humanities, Mr. Green with STEM. And so this will project a little bit into what the students will do and, and the process they'll go through to select the academy that they'll be, be in for the next Because as years. freshmen, that's going to be the next big step as Absolutely. they begin to register for classes in the in the late winter, spring, however you want to look at it, uh, they'll have to select academy and that's and this is part of the process to kind of expose them to as many different career areas as possible. Absolutely, and it's really been unique. You, you, you've been in education how long now? Uh, too long. Too this long. is 20 this for is my, me. This is 15 for me, and you're fine, buddy. You're fine. Get a little TV action. Go around behind us. That's typically what you do. Uh, 15 for me, and it's been neat to watch over the past uh, you know, 15, 20, 30 years, how the evolution of education, and it's pushed down. Now, kids are selecting, you know, what interests them and what, you know, what, what direction they want to go a lot earlier. So it's neat that we're a part of that process. This is our fourth year in the academy. Uh, so this is a, a huge part of uh, a, an awesome process at Walker Valley High School. We're, we're certainly proud of it. Let's, let's pull in a freshman teacher, Craig Long. Come on, Come on in Long. here. Jump right in here, buddy. I, you, you get, we'll just put you right in the there middle. There we go. You're uh, live on the spill, my friend. Live, we're live from uh, Cleveland State Crush Community arms, College. That's a sign of like defiance or yeah. something. We, we're we're live positive from, body language, I coach. I don't know what to do with my arm. No, uh, hey, it's listen. Good little, uh, what's up? What's up? So, uh, just talk about your day. Uh, seeing out, seeing uh, some of the activities and, and business and organizations that are here so far. All right. This is a fantastic thing we got going on here. We got to work on the uh, <laughs> mic issue. Yeah, everybody, everybody wants to grab the mic. Don't grab the Number mic. One rule. Did you see that don't as I'm talking to Jonathan mic. Pig and Jolie Poole? Number one rule, when you have the mic, you have control. <laughs> I have my hands in my pockets. I wouldn't have grabbed the mic. Or cross, that's what it is. All right. So we got this going on here at Cleveland State. This is a fantastic day we're having here. We got all the kids with their bags trick-or-treating for career goodies. They're learning about careers. 
That's all I got. <laughs> I'm not a very good storyteller. I, uh, my stories usually end and nobody knows they're over. Well, talk about talk about the start of the school this year. How's everything going? How's it, I know you guys were out out in the parking lot the other day doing doing PSA. Inertia. Yeah, a PSA, public service announcements. Look for those on the spill coming up. We got some seatbelt commercials coming. Uh, they're fantastic. We haven't been in the classroom at all this year. We've been just out doing everything hands on. Uh, that we let that out of the bag with the assistant principal saying here. Oh, I'm I'm involved. I, they they try to get me involved in the inertia <laughs> projects and things blowing up. It's really cool. That's yeah. that's what you want to. You know, we've got a classroom where kids don't go in the class. They learn by doing. It. He's Mr. Long. Awesome. Don't you? But don't job. you think that's and that's a great point. Don't you think kids, the, especially this generation of group, they really enjoy the hands-on stuff. They've been very. Uh, hands-on and everything they've done since they were since they were toddlers so it's a great way to kind of teach them some of the things that we've always taught them yeah and that's what like all my kids keep telling me hey you should be uh, teacher of the month right um, because Shameless whoa, plug. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> promotional, <laughs> promotional tour starting yeah, today. You on the spill, baby. You know we can get a commercial. Yeah, we don't give that you. stuff away there's for no free. free. <laughs> there's no free ads here. That's right. That's right. Um, I don't even remember the question now. This kid move just walked through, in front of the he's camera. He's a star. That's he's awesome. a star. That's awesome. All right. Um, yeah, we got to move on to the next question. I don't remember that one. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Craig Mr. Long, physical science teacher extraordinaire. Thank you, Mr. Long. All right. Mr. Collins, got some got some new stuff going up. Got some digital signage boards oh, going man, up in awesome. school. Yeah, definitely check out the... Uh, the, uh, I know the Spill Twitter feed, the uh, Walker Valley Twitter feed, the Walker Valley Fe Freshman Twitter feed. You can search for those on Twitter, uh, and, and they're kind of detailing a little bit about what's going on. Got new televisions. Walker Valley has been a digital school uh, for many years. I, I think you know your classroom is really a, uh, a microcosm of where we want to be. A lot of money tied up in that class, but the school is now growing beyond that classroom. We've added some uh, some digital televisions and flat screens throughout the building, and really want to do a lot of good things with that. Yeah, we're very excited about the potential of being able to do some things, and, and ultimately down the road even some interactive things with our students, and being able to do some touchscreen stuff. We're very excited. Again, it's about it's about getting information out to students and parents. So when they're in the building, we want them to be able to be informed about what's going on. And the more people are informed, the better it's going to be for everybody that's involved. And we had a big turnout last night, parent-teacher uh, conferences. We had hundreds of uh, hundreds of parents and families in the building, which was uh, an awesome night. Probably one of the best we've had. I think the turnout was uh, was extraordinary. It had our senior uh, senior night, 6:30. Walk on through there, ladies. Yeah, just welcome, come on welcome. through. It's just live. live just live, live on TV. The scale, just live television. Had our senior uh, parent meeting with Mr. Akiona. Uh, good turnout there. So a lot of stuff going on, uh, you know, beyond the athletic field and beyond competition. The Constitution Bowl. Speaking of competition, Const uh, for like the 25th year in a row. Yeah, I, 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 uh, absolutely. <laughs> the tweet, I, I, the I, tweet from the Walker Valley High School account today was 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 precious. Was precious. A good one. Yeah. There's some good stuff. Winning the flowing. Constitution Bowl since 1787. <laughs> good stuff from Matt. I know there are a lot of kids that are, are super pumped about that. I I think uh, had first and second place on the Constitution Bowl. That's that's pretty much. I, don't, I believe 14 schools participated yep. in that, and and the Walker Valley teams finished first and second that's, yesterday. That's so tremendous awesome. job. Hats off to Ann Pickens and and, and those group of kids uh, for what they've done, and and the, the just keeps rolling on. Yesterday yeah. we got some great ACT ACT news as we begin to break down the ACT for ACT the ACT information, uh, you know, we're, we've hit the bar at 20, and we're wanting to stretch to 23, and we believe that we can do that highest in the community uh, as far as a, a school, and so we're proud of that. A third straight year of, of growth in the ACT, graduation rate uh, is the highest in the community. We're proud of that. Uh, big news on the golf course uh, as, as Katie. Yes, Katie, Katie, yeah, Katie, Katie Medlin yesterday uh, uh, wins in a, in a playoff yep. to, to advance to the state tournament, and then the boys, they, they cut the nets down yesterday at the, at the region tournament. What would, you, what would you do? So I guess you'd take the flag. Take or the take flag. The, the, the there may have been some jumping in some ponds <laughs> no, or some, something pond. yesterday, but the boys team uh, wins the region championship yesterday and advances to the state tournament. Nick at McCracken, Willow. Dylan Lillard, first and second. Yeah. Uh, be uh, headed over to Willowbrook in Manchester yep. for the state tournament coming up a little bit later in the month. So big news. Uh, Soccer team rolling along. They got two big games this weekend playing in the in the Cleveland Soccer uh, Classic. Been rolling along. Uh, suffered their first district loss yep. on Thursday against a good, very good Saudi team. But the girls have been doing good. Volleyball team's been on a roll. 
Uh, we're going to get the football thing straightened out yeah. next week down in Tyner. On a bye and, week this week. Uh, so uh, so we get a, a Friday off. Uh, it, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this Friday. Take the Friday. kids to the park or go. Uh, well, you don't take kids. To, uh, no, my kids are. My <laughs> kids, kids take are me. Yeah, my kids take me to the park. That's right. That's right. Had a bye so. week. Come back with uh, on the road at Tyner uh, next week. And we're on the road, I believe, three straight Yeah, Fridays. the next three weeks are going to be at Tyner next week. That game will be on. Uh, this, all games are broadcast on the spill app. But next week. We'll also be on Talk 101.3, The Buzz. Christian Mann and myself will be down there at Tyner. Then uh, then the following week will be the big Crosstown Rival as we take on Cleveland on Thursday night, October 1st. And then over fall break, we also travel to a very good Saudi Daisy team. So right, uh, right. Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be a little while. we got four Fridays to get through before we're back home again with White County in, a, in, a, in about a month. It's a it's a it's a fun time of the year. Fall is upon us. We got the cooler mornings, and this is just a neat time in a, in the school system. I believe we've got Mix 1041 coming back in October to do the uh, uh, the Friday broadcast or the morning broadcast, and they'll showcase some different things. We did a lot of athletics the first time around. We'll do some different stuff the second time around uh, to hopefully showcase uh, really cool things that are going on at our school because we believe uh, we have uh, a phenomenal place and a place that kids want to be. So a lot of stuff going on, a lot of positive things. We're here at Cleveland State Community College at the College and Career Fair. We have almost 400 uh, freshmen from Walker Valley that are here participating. Yeah, huge turnout. And, and Kids are, are doing a good job being involved, being active. I've noticed since we put people on the air, we're everyone's kind of we're like no. the desert yeah, island here. You know what I mean? It's people scattered on it's us like, a little whoa, bit. Whoa, whoa! That's not going to stop us. We'll these microphones are wireless. We'll if we have to, we'll go. Uh, we'll go find <laughs> some. We'll go track some people down. We can always grab uh, Miss Poole and Miss. Oh, Miss Poole, come, come on up here. Come on up here. Yep, come on, Miss Boyle. Oh yeah, she's not afraid. We need to critique Mr. Pig. We're trying to work with him on their uh, their live Jump broadcast. Jump in here. Come here, Miss Boyle. The, the uh, you know we got to loosen them up a little bit. They're, they're, they're well, a bit you know stiff. it's it's Pig's first year uh, on the spill. Rookie. He's he's got you know he's made some some rookie mistakes. Been a little. How many broadcasts does he have under his belt? Well, he's you know he's been and I will say this. He has been a champion in that regard. He's been he's 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 been solid. He's been a solid host for us. Does a great job with the microphone in his hand, oh, yeah. interviewing kids. Now we just gotta loosen him up. Yeah. Get a little. Uh, this is my right hand right here, though. Rock star. Yeah, my right hand. I don't rock stars. <laughs> if we pump her up too much, then she'll. Uh, Get in here, Miss Paul. You yeah. look like you're about three foot eight. You I know. Am. There you go. Well, we don't want you looking any <laughs> any shorter. In there we go. Miss Paul, tell us. Uh, big year for you. Are you, what are you, a freshman this year? Senior. Oh, senior. Man, I can't believe you're a senior. I know. Do you remember, do you remember coming in as a freshman? Who was your, uh, who was your freshman uh, principal? No clue. I think you. <laughs> was it you? <laughs> can we edit that out? Yeah, can we? Edit that out. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, this is live TV. Principal? Good gravy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It, okay, let's go to the next question. Who was the best freshman principal you've ever had? You. Hey! Yeah. All hey. right, we got to win. Good job, Miss. Winner, Boy. winner. Hey, talk about this. Talk about, reflect on your, your four years, your three and a half, mm -hmm. and you're going to project over the next few months. Talk about the experience that you've had at Walker Valley. Well, I came in as a freshman. I came from Cleveland Middle, so obviously I didn't know anybody. Luckily, I had the cheer team that I came to, and I had an immediate group of friends. And then coming through Walker Valley is such a different experience. Everyone's actually like family. We do have that hashtag WV family, and it really is an incredible experience. And you know, most people say high school sucks, high school is awful. Yeah, I honestly don't want to leave. I've had great teachers, never had a bad one. Learned a lot. Coach Webb is my favorite teacher, but you know. Look at that. That was un. Uh, that was unprovoked. She just. She just threw that out there. Added out the exchange of cash uh, later. <laughs> the twenty dollar bill. Yeah, there. I mean, whatever it takes. <laughs> I've honestly had a great experience, you know, it's really, I feel like it's really prepared me for college. It's opened up a lot of experience. He's opened a lot of experiences for me, for media, and that's what I want to do in college. And he's helped me figure that out, where I want to go. And I'm really starting to look at Lee and stay, or staying around Cleveland. So what will you do when, when you leave here? What In, in 10 years, where is Joe Lee going to be? I'd like to be in the media department working as editing or uh, broadcasting. And uh, it, hey, that's an awesome yellow shirt. Hor horrendous lanyard. Uh, we got old Miss there, but we'll we'll work on that. Uh, no, that's we're super proud of uh, of Jolie, and she does a great job in the spiel and in broadcasting in general. Um, we got a lot of kids that that go the Cleveland Middle route. Where'd you go to elementary school? 
I came from Louisiana, so I only went oh, to Yale Cajun. Ross for one month. We got to, we have a lot that come from Cleveland Middle, and and so we're we're proud of that. And we're proud of Jolie. She's she's been a great contributor uh, to our school, and uh, you got to remember to come back. You know, oh, ten years, you got to come back and be a part of the family as we continue to grow uh, our uh, our base, so to speak, uh, our graduates, and uh, come back and be a part of us and uh, continue to contribute as a uh, uh, as a graduate, as a Mustang graduate. Absolutely. Well, she's going to be, for those of you, you know, the big one of the big things we do as a media department every year is a senior video. Well, this will be the one oh. that will be heading senior Ooh. video this year. So how does that so, work? Do you, like, accept uh, monetary donations? I know there's always been controversy about, hey, you got to get me on the video. Here's a five. Hey, get me in. What? So what's the exchange rate? You know, do you? Whatever it takes. Whatever it yeah. takes. So, so basically you're putting that out on, like, Craigslist or eBay, or how does that work? Is there an app where you can? I'm just going to put it on, like, the student section accounts with Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Jolie Poole, sports fan. She does a great job on the spill. Glad to have her. Thank She's, you. She's uh, rocking and rolling us, keeping us running today. Oh, yeah. They're doing a great job, John. Hey, go. just Cut come on in. Hey, if hey. you come across, that's then you right. have to talk right. on, on, on camera. Can, can we get Pig? Yeah, we'll talk to Pig. Come on, Pig. I don't have to hold the mic for Pig down here. Yet. Pig is uh, Go ahead. No, you're fine. It's just live TV. You're all right. We'll get you on. Do you want to talk? No? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Pig's literally eight foot seven. A stark contrast from our previous guest. Pig was what? Pig, how you weren't taller than me in middle school? I wasn't taller than you in middle school. What I happened? Wasn't. What spinach or what's I, the it was just, like juice it's, plus? It's what they put in the water. In the water. It's what All they right. put in the water. <laughs> Excellent. <yeah. laughs> Tell us. Uh, obviously, you were at Okoy. Tell us about your transition up to uh, up to Walker Valley. How, how did that go? How was your freshman year? Where are you now? Well, I'm in Walker Valley now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> like, where are you in Walker Valley? <laughs> um, this is my senior year at Walker Valley. Um, I came from Okoe Middle School, so uh, it really wasn't that hard of a transition. I was kind of like already had a bunch of friends that were coming up. Um, but it was definitely different um, moving into, you know, stuff. Uh, a much bigger place. You go from being the big dog to being the, the small <laughs> fry. <laughs> um, but uh, it was a good transition. It was definitely something that was for the better. Um, and, you know, now looking back at my freshman year, um, you know, a lot of good things happened that, you know, put me in a position to where I can be uh, everything that I need to be this year in my oh, senior I like year. that. That's solid so. plug. <laughs> tell, hey, we do this a lot. Go back in time and tell your freshman self. Tell my freshman give self. Give your freshman self some advice. What advice would you give? Uh, get more involved earlier. Um, we we'll hear that a lot. Yeah, we we'll hear that a lot. <laughs> um, I just kind of stayed near the back my freshman year. Um, so I definitely think that one thing that I would have changed is I would have gotten more involved uh, sooner in my freshman year. Now you're you're a pro at the you're on the spiel. I mean you're pretty prominent. You know you're you're like Ron Burgundy of the spiel. Yeah. You're the Ron I Burgundy of the spiel. Well, the funny, well, yeah. <laughs> what, um, what's that done for you as far as you know your? Uh, I mean you're a pretty famous guy now. Yeah, well, you know you know I didn't think that I was pretty famous, and then you know you start walking around the halls and people say, "Hey, Jonathan." I'm like, "Hey," and I don't know who they are. That's all right. Just and act so, like you do, <laughs> right? What you do. Power of TV, that's man. Right. Power of TV. That's that's He's out we live the, it. We live it every day. Out at the mall, at the movies, <laughs> and I mean you you better. Uh, you're going to have to set up. There'll be a faux pig Twitter account. Or, or, you know, a, a, oh, yeah. A, a, a parody oh, account. Oh, I'm totally starting that this yeah, week. We're having a parody account. That's what happens when you become when you become famous. Uh, that's what happens. But, no, it does a great job on the spill. Uh, him and Melton. They, they, yeah. We're working on them. We're working. we got to loosen Cooper's them up. Cooper's a little more stiff than I am. I, I, I don't that. disagree with that. we yes, got to loosen Mel them up. Melton's not here, so. Uh, we'll, we'll take we'll take a shot at him, but yeah, we're working on both of them. <laughs> well, you do a great job. We uh, well, we appreciate you, you having Jonathan. You. Also, uh, keeping us rocking. Him and Joe Lee are taking care of the spill today. Glad to have them. So, Mr. Pig, glad to have you on board today. Yes, Thanks Thank for joining you. us, buddy. Oh, right. there's Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian, Wait the world's most Mr. interesting Brian. man. <laughs> you want to talk about the the great job that FBLA is doing? We'll let you have your coffee in on the uh, on the broadcast. That's, uh, well, that's what happens when you have live TV. Here's Sherry Cry. Oh, Miss Cry, come on in here, right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, we're right live. here. We're live right now on the Spill app. Mind your P's and Q's. Saw yeah, Miss yeah. Cry out on the Greenway. I, I yes. had no idea she was a Greenway aficionado. She frequents the Greenway. I do frequent the what, Greenway. Uh, I have did, a walker. did you go out this morning? No. So you're the evening. I'm an evening walker. All right, how, what are you getting in this evening? 
How many four miles. Four, four miles. miles. So you're pretty at routine. Least, I'd pretty, at least do four. Are you, you, got a, you got a race on the calendar? You got something? No, that you, no. Well, let me, I'm going to tell you, here's, here's a little plug. The Nashville Rock and Roll Half Marathon. Oh, it's, in, it's in April. The deadline to sign up for the cheap price is today. My daughter did that last year, but I'm not a runner. I'm a oh, walker. Oh, that's not what I said. A Alice I, and Alan Lockerman, pastor at yes, First Baptist, I walk it every year. It. Every yes. year, they yes. walk. Well, there's one coming up for junior achievement. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to see how that segues in. Local. Local All right, local go ahead. Here. Let's, here. Give us the plug. It's, it's, it's um, 5K, and... Um, I don't know all the details other than I'm probably going to do it. But In October? It's October 10th on our Greenway. For Junior for Achievement. For Junior Achievement. October, and how can we register? If someone like Coach Webb wants to sign up, can we go online? Go, or we need to yes, call the chamber? Yes, go to Junior Achievement's website. No, yeah. not the chamber. Junior Achievement's website. Okay. Excellent. Go to JA website and, and sign up for that. We'll have Coach Webb. JAOKOY.org, I believe. Ooh, there you I go. like that. Excellent. There you go. Sherry, talk about today just a little bit and, and, and your goals and what, what you're trying to do here today. Well, the Chamber is so happy to present this career fair for all of our ninth graders to give them an opportunity to see what uh, choices that they can make for their career, whether it's uh, in some of the CTE courses that we have in our schools or uh, some other professions. We have businesses and industries here. We have the uh, fire department, police department, and uh, TWRA is here. So there's, let's look, give students an opportunity to see what's out there. As ninth graders, they have to really start thinking about where, where what they're gonna do. And so we hope that this will give them an opportunity to see what's offered in their high school that they can study and what they need to do even after high school. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Miss Crow on the spot. Oh. I do this a lot. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Got, um, <clears throat> you got. You. We'll probably we'll probably uh, air this to our freshmen at some point or let them listen to it. Some. What if you could tell them maybe one or two things about what they can learn, what skill, what soft skill they could learn that would help them when they leave high school? It's. Very I didn't important. even finish. I didn't even oh, finish was the there question. No, nope. go, oh, exactly go ahead because you know exactly. You know where I'm going. Skills. Go ahead. It's very important that students start learning in high school how important it is, whether it's school or a job you have, that you are there on. every day. Come on. And that you are there on time on. or early. But because but you Cry, can lose a I was job. just a minute you late. You can lose your <laughs> job over that. I saw that on Twitter the other day. A kid at, at it was just eight sixteen. Yeah. I was just one minute late. Also, do not do drugs because you will you will be drug tested for any job you go into, and if you fail the drug test, no job. How no about, job, no money. How about working with people? Yes, they need to learn how to communicate, how to work as a team. We can't just be texting all the time. We have to learn how to write and talk to people and uh, definitely uh, how to work as a team. All of those are things that we, we really want to promote and, and try yes. to talk about. You know, yes. English, important, math, important, science, social, all of those things all those are, are important. vital, absolutely. But yes. within those, we really want to teach kids how to how to do how to have those soft skills. Be on time. Communicate. Work with people. Yes. Work with people. Look people in the eye. Be confident. Hold your head up high. Shake hands firmly. Be able to conduct a live be able broadcast. To conduct a live broadcast yeah, absolutely. When, they, when they catch you on the spot. Absolutely. Yes. Well, that's what happens when you walk around the corner here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Ambush. You did great, though. Yeah. Thank absolutely. you very much so for stopping far, by. You're at the top of the. You're number one. You're our number one guest <laughs> right. so far. Thank you very much. Outstanding. Thanks. Thank you, Miss Cry. Great A listen. I, 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 That's an A lister right there. Yeah, that is an A lister. Woo, Let me expand one. upon that just a little bit. I had the opportunity this summer to do uh, to embed with uh, life care, and and spend a week with life care. And and you know we went to all the departments, the accounting department, the IT department, you know the media department, all that. And they talked about those things. It's not so much. Yes, the learning the skill is important. The hard skill. The accounting the marketing whatever yes there's an importance there but what's going to get you hired and what's going to be able to keep you employed is the thing she talked about being on time right. being attentive being able to work with people those are the kind of skills that that, that kids and our students are going to have to have right. and going to have to get better at we say this all the time you'll appre appreciate this be coachable you know oh absolutely be, be coachable and, and and i think if it, they can teach you as long as you're coachable you can be taught skills 
you know, you can be taught how to do this or how to do that or how to run this program. Or Coach Lumpkin right there, sports fans, do uh, you want to be on the live broadcast? We're, we're live here, Coach. Uh, Oh, oh, just look at yeah, We hear that one a lot. Uh, yeah. Speaking of being coachable, that was a pretty uh, yeah. uh, pretty well-timed walkthrough. Uh, Dan Lumpkin, uh, uh, Cleveland State, uh, former girls basketball coach. Right. Uh, uh, but, yeah, be coachable. You can learn and you can be taught as long as you have that uh, that mindset to and that attitude that, hey, I'm going to work, I'm going to come in, I'm going to be a gamer every single day, and I'm going to be able to work uh, with people and work for somebody. Absolutely. We out of here? No, second, well, we got a few second, minutes left. Second, we got a couple more minutes left here to kill. Trying to look around, see if we can steal somebody else, maybe grab a kid or two. I saw I saw a couple of kids. Uh, Evan Farmer walked by. Oh, Mr. Pig's got something else to say? No? Okay. When you get out of the booth, you get you get interviewed. Uh, we'll get, uh, let's see. We can put Mr. Britton on. There's Amy Borders, sports fan. It's like a who's who around here. It is. It's a who's. But what a great time. Things are, are slowly starting to wrap up. Kids are, are have spent quite a bit of time. Oh, Pig's coming through with some uh, with some candy. What do, we got? what do we got? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How many people are involved in this broadcast? I count four. I count four. Uh-oh, who wants a, yeah, see, they've come over. If you come over, I'll talk. Hey, Macy yeah. Yeah. said, I, you, you're live. You By the way, we're that, live. Right? You're literally on television. Like yeah. TV? Yeah, well, absolutely, I'm a, uh, absolutely. You're, you're live. So that's recorded forever. Just go ahead and hop right in there. Hello. All right, introduce yourself. Who are you? What are you? What are you doing here? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rachel. I'm a ninth grader and human. And why are you here? To learn stuff. All right, fantastic. All right. Do you see the difference in where we get them as ninth graders and where they go as seniors? We, go. We, we do a lot of good things. We do a lot of good things. What? <laughs> tell us your favorite uh, booth so far. Where have you been that's really? Mean other seat? than this? Other one. than the spill. All right. Um. Do you need Macy Nipper to, to no? step in? Well, and, yeah, and, yeah, Okay, yeah. dictate kind of. Well, here, okay. scoot over. You are crowd me out. I like the camera. The camera okay. loves me. Camera loves me. There we go. All okay. right, Miss Nipper, t introduce yourself. Even though already had. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Where are you? What are you doing? All that good stuff. Um, I'm Macy Nipper. Um, I'm not great. I walk Valley. A veteran of the podcast, by the way. Yeah. Yes. She's been on the podcast. She before. has been on the first. I think one. she's trying to angle in, maybe like, hey, can I hey. get the spill on my schedule next year? Yeah. Is that I what you're looking for? She would be a good one. Uh, so we're always recruiting. Tell us what uh, what booth have you been to today that that stood out to you? Um, yeah, the nursing station. I don't know. I got nervous around you. Seconds ago I like. I asked you, now you're you're, you're no. hoarding in well, on her time. Well, it's just a little time to process. Yeah. Right, what do you got, Mason? Um, I guess yeah. I guess that one over there, the nursing one. Okay, we can't see the whole thing. So tell, the uh, nursing one, right? There you go. Excellent. The Tell us what was at the nursing system. station. They just had papers on like classes you can take if you want to like prepare yourself for college. Like, to be a nurse. You do realize we have that program at Walker Valley, by yeah. the way. So we'll yeah. we'll get you clued in on that one. Rachel, talk. What did you also? You want a second the nursing station? Yeah. All right, fantastic. What's in your goodie bag? Can we go through that? Oh, I got. Well, candy. Let's <laughs> see what we got. We got candy. We're bribing with candy I got here. Candy. And then come on, come on. We're on we television. Have, you got, we can't we, see into the bag. Ah, we have wrappers. Ooh, I'm liking that. Any coupons in there for like food? I can take those home. Right. Uh, we got any? Few, like any? Is there any Chick Fil A coupons in there? Oh, oh I'm liking that. So we've got our freshman plan of study. <laughs> I think this is for Lee University, correct? Yeah. yeah. Lee University. Excellent. A lot of a uh, lot of big time stuff there. That's good, good, good stuff there from uh, from our ladies. All right, ladies, go. Uh, Go and visit some more. You didn't want to come in. You didn't want to be a part of that, okay? Mia Angel, sports fan. She uh, lost her ID the other day. All right, ladies. Any any Thanks parting for words? By. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Go Thank tell us. Uh, get some more kids to come by and visit with us. All right. And uh, coach, we're back. Fantastic. Uh, former principal Danny Coggin in the house. Uh, see yes, him. I think Jonathan Pig's trying to recruit him see to come him. over and see say him a few words with us. There, that's there we go. We got. Uh, a couple of teachers guarding the exit doors in case anybody wants to make a break for it. We, uh, oh, you got us uh, recruiting some talent, Mr. Pig. Pig. It's hard to say no to Pig. He's a game. Yeah, he definitely Less, has that. Uh, well, I could. There's a whole lot we could. We could go a long ways off that. We're, we're going to get Mr. Coggin to jump right in here. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? We're live on the Come spill on app. Come on, Mr. Coggin. Good morning. How's everybody doing? 
<laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what, what are you doing here, Mr. Coggins? Uh, I just thought I'd hang out. No, came to see what's going on with the career fair. We're going to be here for a little while. I came over to Dr. Cash, and uh, she's over talking to kids and teachers and everything. So we're here to see, checking it out, see what's going on. Mr. Coggins, former principal at Walker Valley High School, has moved into a central office role. How's the transition been? It's uh, every day is a new adventure. <laughs> That's, I, think, I think we all can say yeah. that. Mr. Coggins saying that, and he uh, has been the cornerstone at Walker Valley for, was it 14 years, Mr. Coggins? Is that yeah. right? For 14 years. And, and, a year uh, of and now continues <laughs> to uh, continues to work with the school and, and, as well as other schools as the secondary supervisor for Bradley County Schools. What do you think so far, Mr. Coggins, what, as, you, as you look around today? Well, I, I like the interaction. I like the energy of the kids, what they're seeing and what they're doing and how people are reacting to each other. And I think it's a really good thing. It's a great how, thing. How important is this, uh, an event like this, uh, for, for freshmen as they transition through the academy system, which our, our system has, uh, go through high school and then into uh, college and career after high school? Well, it's a great opportunity. It's eye-opening for kids to see the different things that are out there and in a part of our community. You know, our community has six or seven Fortune 500 companies that are available for our kids to work in. And we want to fill those jobs from here, from Bradley County. We want kids to be able to, when they, when they leave a Bradley County school, to say, I can take that job. I can get in there. That's that foundation piece that we talk about forever. And that's what we want to do. So this is a great opportunity for them to start and to see and you open your eyes, and it's a great opportunity. A couple of those uh, Fortune 500 right down the road from Walker <laughs> Valley High School. So that's yes, they a, are. be a nice, yes. uh, easy transition for our, for our kids. Uh, we're glad to have you here. It's, uh, it's nice to Thanks see you, Mr. Scott. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Absolutely. You never know what's going to happen when you, yeah, when live, you show up at Live Royal television, Royal television. Live television. And, and Dr. Cash is here somewhere. So we'll you know, we'll track her down. Thank you to Mr. Coggin for coming by. Man, yeah. I'm telling you, we, we've got some. We, listen, we've had some big wigs big, come through. Big timers coming some in. Some big, uh, big timers. So thanks, we're uh, Dr. Cash, our director of schools, sitting right down there. We're going to see if we can maybe flag her down and, and get her to come say a few words. Get, uh, maybe Jonathan Pig to go over and. Uh, yeah, Pig, you've got, a, you've got one job today, buddy. You're recruiting you're people for us. You're the recruiting coordinator. we got one more. At We're going to have you go get our uh, director of schools standing right over there. Dr. Cash. Hey, right there, right there. Don't say that live on the air. Yeah. Uh, right there with Miss Cannon. Dr. Cash is her name. This will be, this yeah. ought to be rich. Well, there's going to be, uh, be this Can is live. Can we film Pig doing this? <laughs> This, this is ought to be this classic. is live. Pig is literally we'll have, nervous. We may have to do some editing for this is all said and done. I want I want to see Pig interact with the, he was a little nervous on that one. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta you, know, you gotta throw it out there. We should we probably should have sent Miss Poole. You know, she's the well, cool customer. If we get her off her phone, we can well, that off may the, have been, what, what do you got? That may have been there? uh well, that may have been a that the Dunkin' Donuts? All right, hit the D squared today. What'd you go with? No, what beverage did you go with? <laughs> she went with herself. Yeah. So what'd you Me, get? myself, and I. I went by myself. My three what? favorite people. What was it? French vanilla. The iced coffee. Oh, the iced nice coffee. coffee. I read this the other day. New York Times, maybe. The millennials are iced coffee people. They I are. I don't understand that. They're shunning the real coffee. Uh, and, you're, now you're a you're a big time coffee drinker. I'm a whatever. If it's got caffeine in it, I'm in. <laughs> you're in. But I like coffee. But, but I, you I'm, don't. Yeah. Well, let's be honest. You don't need a lot of caffeine. <laughs> Probably doctors would advise against that. I would say, medically speaking. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's good to get you rocking yeah, and rolling I, I think in the we'll morning. We'll probably have to edit this portion of the of the of the broadcast out. It's like uh, it's like a football game when it's out of hand. You know, we're late in the second half and uh, scores. It's it's 44 to three. Uh, we got a lot of, not a lot going on. So now at this point, we're talking about our fantasy picks of the week. Did you watch a football game last night? Interesting football game. Last In, night. Interesting. That's the interesting word. Interesting football game. You know, Peyton Manning struggles. People are talking Ooh. about, you know, so, having right. some offensive line issues. All right, you're the you're the pro. You're the uh, you're the football guy. Peyton didn't look good first quarter. Like I, I was worried for him because I'm a Peyton guy. Right, but. Your commentators, um, matter of fact, who were your commentators? Uh, one of Nance them. Nance and Sims. Phil Sims. That's right. Phil Sims. Hey, it's the Kubiak system. It's the system. Some of it may be system-based, and it's going to take some time to get comfortable in that. Some of that, obviously, some of that is in age. He keeps wandering off. He I keep wandering, wandering off. off. 
Oh, my bad. Well, so as when, a director, you should be doing a better job getting my attention. Then she's got to put her drink and her phone down. Yeah, that's pretty fascinating. That is, that's more than one. That's more than one thing that she wanted to do. Um, but you know, obviously, they've got some offensive line issues. He's had seven sacks already, seventeen total last year. So he's almost halfway to that mark already. So they're, they're having some offensive line issues. Arm strength is, has been a question, um, but. He looked good when he ran, when, when they handed him the keys, said, uh, hey, Peyton, go say, win the thing for us. Right. Well, let's back him up, give him a little room in the shotgun. Yeah. Kubiak's going to have to make some adjustments uh, to what he wants to do. Right. Uh, but uh, a, a very good, listen, very good. You can arguably say that Denver's played two terrible football games, but they're 2-0 and yeah. and, and beat a very good Chiefs team on the road. And that's a uh, – that's what counts. You know, if you want to look at stats that are important, the, the 2-0 stat is probably the uh, the most significant stat for sure. Pig, uh, pig, pig, pig dropped the okay. ball. Note to self, next time we need somebody to go get something. Pig, what do we ask. pay you for? What do we, we don't She's, accept. She was, tweet, her, she was tweeting for the first do time. Do not accept, her, no. So her, her maiden She's tweet. Coming. Her maiden tweet was a picture of the college fair or the career fair. So. It's so a, and and only the, the next thing. biggest thing she's going to do is, is appear thumbs. is she going to appear on this uh, the, on the one this. Finger, you got to so. coach her up, pig. You got to <laughs> yeah, help she's her. She's still over there working on it right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when she'll be over here. <laughs> you need so we're, we're, he wants to say, well, we uh, are we on a tape delay? <laughs> we we uh, what do you uh, come on come on? This is this is uh, we're, we're putting a lot of you got to we got hold on you got. You know what? I'm here in the uh, middle. I got a bit of something on my face. Yeah. Uh, introduce yourself. I'm Ben Monroe. I'm amazing. I'm fabulous, as you can see. Ben Thanks. Monroe, what are you doing here today? Tell us your favorite booth. It's hard to decide. There, um, I really like the computer booth back there. The, and I also like the uh, pastry booth because you're going to taste cream icing. So. Oh, cool. Excellent. Ben Monroe, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Ben. Have a good day, buddy. Hello. Dr. Cash, come on in here. We've got uh, we've got some serious breaking news on you, um, and we're, we're at the spill here. We're live. Uh, we're on. trying to. Do we need to double confirm that that actually happened? Yeah, double. Cons du we have heard that moments ago you sent out your maiden tweet. I did. So that's factual. That's factual. All right, we're go we're breaking in. Uh, Doctor Cash is on Twitter. Go ahead and give us your Twitter handle. Um, I actually don't know my Twitter <laughs> handle. <laughs> We'll get that we'll to re you. Well, yeah, we'll, re we'll retweet that we'll here in just a little bit. <laughs> Dr. Cash, uh, glad I to have you. I just sent out a tweet with Walker Valley students uh, at the Mars Career Fair. So they were talking about Mars, so you'll find it. Fantastic. So we're, we're glad you're here. Tell us why you're here. Tell us what we're doing here, what's going on today. Well, I'm here because we really want to start early talking to our kids about careers and opportunities. And the fact that we have freshman day with our freshmen here makes it real for me. And I'm listening to the students and watching them, knowing that hopefully we're planting some seeds that from Bradley County Schools, both Walker Valley and Bradley Central, we've got great potential for our jobs in our community. How does a, an event like this uh, with you know both high schools in the academy model how does an event like this tie in with that well in your academy model they are focusing on their interest in what they can do and we're tying the careers that are in our communities with those including our engineer our advanced technology all of those pieces our health science we have all of those tracks in our schools and now we're bringing them to the job fairs to see that school connects to real world so if I'm a parent of an elementary or middle school uh, student, which, which I am, by the way, how, how does how does this appeal to me down the road? I mean, what what am I thinking, man? That's my kids are going to be involved in this. How does this connect with me as a young, a parent of a young child? Well, you're looking at what we have to offer and saying, oh, I need to be looking at my child. What are their interests so that I can begin talking to them about, hey. You really are interested in math and building things, so maybe we need to be talking about what an engineer does and what's in our community and taking them to places where they can see it in action. And I'm going to put you on the spot, too, because this buzzword's coming around, and it's, it's been around for a long time, but I think we're uh, beginning to, to, to really emphasize it, ACT. Um, ACT, because ACT looks at reasoning, it looks at uh, opportunities to solve problems and to learn. So when we're looking at ACT, we're not only looking at just the raw score, 
but how they score in those four domains because that spills over into the workforce. So the higher your ACT scores are, especially on those four subtests, it spills over into our workforce and our workforce is beginning to look at ACT to see if they've got the capacity to learn and work in teams and to communicate. Now make it real simple for me as a parent, what else does the ACT mean? I, if I'm a middle school and an elementary school parent, what does it mean? ACT means higher earning income down the road. Come on, I'm, I'm walking you to the promised land here. <laughs> What does it mean for me as a parent with Money college? college. a girl, Money that's where college. we're at. So uh, parents, if, if your student is uh, saying, I really don't want to work on ACT, and they're talking to you about going to college, your message needs to be, no, I need you to work on ACT amen. because you're getting money that you don't have to take out loans or anything, and basically the higher your ACT is, the more money you're going to get. That's awesome, and we're, we're, we're hoping to really promote that. Shout. That's almost shout Oh, right absolutely. There. We can have a hallelujah in that one. We, uh, and we're working to promote that you, you know, through the uh, middle school and elementary schools. We want that to be our message, and so that's, that's big for us to hear that and con to continue to communicate that throughout our community. Uh, Dr. Cash, we're glad you stopped by to visit. Yes, thank you good, so much. Good luck on Twitter, and we'll, we'll, we'll look for you and uh, certainly promote that, and we'll retweet you, okay, Dr. Cash? Uh, that's, I think that's the A of A-listers, right? Yeah, pretty near the At top. Least here. That's pretty near the top. And Jolie Pohl, again, directing you. Yes. You're having a problem off I the screen, listen, Coach. Well, you know, you're a, you're a hands talker. I'm kind of a... I'm a hands talker. I'm you're a, a wanderer. Talk talker? Yeah, I'm a wanderer. I like to be over here, maybe like over here. Like We're all him. over the place. We want Sam Hooker. Sam, you want to be on? Come on, Sam. Sam you could be our. You're going to be our final... Oh, our final guest? Final guest today uh, here on the on the Sam Hooker, freshman, freshman at uh, Walker Valley High School. And, Sam, you're you're live here. We're on the spill television, so we'll make sure Mom and Daddy see this, okay? Uh, coming from Oakwood, how's your transition been so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, like, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was, but it's not really that hard. And probably because of who your principal is, right? Yeah. He's done an awesome job of helping you transition, right? So don't feel pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you can say yeah. what you want when you walk away, but right now, buddy, you're on the spot. You're in the band, right? Yeah. Tell us what you play. Uh, I play trumpet. And you guys are uh, doing an awesome job uh, yeah. on Friday nights. Have you put in the full uh, full program yet? Uh, no, we're having practice tomorrow from 9 to 2, and we're going to finish up the closer to so that then we'll know the whole thing. So right. competition season getting ready to kick off, Coming next. On. I think, next week at Bradley, right? Yeah, the Bradley Classic. So by our next home game, which is White County, I believe, October 16th, we'll have the full show, right? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite booth been today? Um, I really don't know. I like the CAD booth over there. Excellent. Excellent. And I really want to do that next year because I couldn't this year because of band. And we certainly have that at Walker Valley High School Computer yeah. Aided Design. Walk on through there, buddy. Good deal. Sam Hooker, thank you very much, brother. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Thank we'll you see you, too. my man. Excellent. He did pretty good. He did excellent. Excellent, excellent job of, of talking about that. Well, Mr. Collins, it's, been, it's been fun. Oh, yeah, this has been We've been awesome. on the air for about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, been an exciting time. We, uh, we'll get this up on the website. It'll be up on our – we're going to do the video on the – on the YouTube channel, we'll get some audio maybe in the, the podcast yeah, section. Absolutely. Uh, so we're, we'll have this up, and uh, it's been a fun time. Freshman Friday on the road. Yeah, it was a road trip. Oh, it's a road to, show. Yeah. Road show. I like I, it. You know, I, I text him this morning, like, you coming? Because this is what we're going to do. And and, uh, and Denny does a great job, and we appreciate the all he does. Man. Oh, the yeah. So when the lights come on, we show up, right? The, so they say. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do want to thank everybody for being a part of the broadcast today. Uh, for my friend, my good friend, Denny Collins, Jonathan Pig. <laughs> my very good friend, Jonathan Pig. You understand uh, you're live on television, Miss <laughs> Peterson. You know that, right? <laughs> my good friend, Jonathan Pig. My right hand, Jolie Poole. Uh, have a good evening. Safe day. Thanks for being a part of it today, See buddy. you next Friday. See you next Friday on the podcast.